friend and I were having a little discussion about bread in the Bible. And she pointed out to me, the Lord's Prayer says, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And when Jesus gave that to us for an example of how to pray, he was talking about us praying daily for our bread and, and wanting that bread daily and depending on God daily. And that was what he's talking about. Well, then you go back to the book of Exodus and what was the bread for the children of Israel? It was manna. God gave them just enough bread each day to take care of their physical needs. So, so today I'd like us all to realize that the daily bread that we need every day is Jesus. Because remember in John 6, he said, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the, your daily bread. And as the older I get, ladies, the more I know I need Jesus. This morning when I got up, I was my heart was feeling a little heavy about something. And I thought, you know what? I don't need food. I don't need coffee, although I'd already had some coffee, I have to be honest. But I said, I just need Jesus. So I had a little prayer time where I sat and talked to him, went through my prayer list, but I also talked to him about what was on my heart. And I thought, you know what? That was the bread that I needed. That's what I needed. I needed Jesus. See, he said further down in uh, John 6, 48 through 51, I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world." And now he's talking about there, the living bread, like if you accept him as your savior, he will give you eternal life. But can I tell you that you need that bread of life on a daily, on a daily basis? Just like he said to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Our bread is Jesus and all of us need Jesus. You know, the next time you feel like crying and screaming and hollering and, and complaining, why don't you just go to Jesus? That's what I'm trying to say. I needed him this morning, and I wondered if my dear listeners out there, do you need Jesus today? Do you need a special, something special from heaven? Some way that he's telling you he understands, that he is with you. You know, I've been depending on him a lot to show me his way and his will, and I've been watching for him more than I ever have in my entire life because of all the transition I'm going through. So I'm telling you, I need the bread of life. And I'm sure my dear friends out there, you need him. Maybe you're not going through as much change and, as, and need him as much as I do. But you know what? Let's pretend that you are going through a change. Let's pretend that you're going through a hard time. So you will actually feel like you need him more because give us this day our daily bread. You need the bread of life today. You need a touch of Jesus. And if you will go to him and ask him, he'd like to be there for you. And he'd like to take care of all your needs. I'm excited by this. I love the fact that Jesus is the bread of life and that I have access to that bread every single day. And ladies, it's not just for me. It's for you too. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.